All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. How are you lot doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video. Now, Chelsea have done some great positive things this season, some superb away performances. A 1-0 win in the Johan Cruyff Arena in the Champions League with a clean sheet. Frank Lampard outsmarting his old master, Jose Mourinho, away in their stadium, 2-0 with a clean sheet and a superb performance, touted as a tactical masterclass. And even things like 5-2 away at Molyneux against Wolves, who are a defensively resolute side, and players scoring wonder goals, multiple hat-trick scorers in the Chelsea team, and at times, free-flowing attacking football. But Chelsea have problems, and it does look like they need refreshment. Only so long can Frank Lampard keep the academy feel-good factor in, and although there is a lot of talent in this current Chelsea squad, it does look like if they really are going to have to solidify themselves in that top four spot and push for other honours moving forward. In the near future, they're gonna need a sprinkle of magic in that squad. Enter January transfers and beyond, in fact. It's an exciting time for Chelsea and it's yet to be seen how Chelsea legend Frank Lampard copes with the transfer market. Sure, he was very smart at Derby County in bringing in players like Mason Mount and Harry Wilson and bringing through Bogle at right back. It looks really innovative and looked like the coach was smart. But when he gets them peas, how is he gonna fare in buying big? Well, we'll find out. Oh yeah, remember if you're new to Football Therapy, please do subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon, like that video to help me out, as in this video, not that video. Although, go and watch other videos and like those as well. Right, today we're talking about three stories. We're talking about Chelsea's link to Philip Coutinho, the ex-Premier League legend, the very, very talented Brazilian player, and what he could bring to Chelsea at what would be a very reasonable price. We're going to be talking about Willian's contract talks, what Willian means to coach Frank Lampard, and what is going on with his contract talks at the moment. And we're going to be talking about quite a hot topic at the moment, young Callum Hudson-Odoi. Academy Jewel recently signed a new long-term contract, is underperforming and sadly has been coming under a lot of heavy criticism from a lot of the Chelsea fan base. And before we talk about the positives like what Willian brings to the team moving forwards and the big potential signing of Philip Coutinho and how much he would cost to Chelsea, let's get into Callum hudson Atoy. So cast your mind back to last season. I watched a lot of games uh, at Stamford Bridge under Maurizio Sarri. I saw Callum hudson Adoy break through in the Europa League, score loads of goals, assist goals, really look like a magnificent young player, like he has throughout his youth career, throughout all the age ranks, dribbling around teams, combining well, scoring wonder goals, dribbling with both feet. It was looking like he could do that at senior level. He actually pushed his way into the first team when Maurizio Sarri wasn't benching him against the fans. Well, but he was starting. It was players like Hallam hudson Adoy and Ruben Loftus-Cheek who made themselves starters in Sarri's Chelsea, even though he didn't have the inclination to play youngsters himself. It was a story in world football, the breakout star of Callum hudson Adoy, but no longer felt valued at Chelsea and was concerned, quite rightly, due to the Chelsea's previous, that he wasn't going to get the game time. Bayern Munich came sniffing around him hard and they were willing to pay probably what was the same as their transfer record at the time, which is a gargantuan fee for a player who had just emerged from Chelsea's academy. hudson Adoy was looking at one of his best mates, Jadon Sancho, tearing up the Bundesliga at the time and figured, I'm the same age as him, I back my talent as much as him, I want to play, let's just go to the Bundesliga and play for Bayern Munich, the biggest club in Germany. Chelsea knew how bad that would look on them, the PR. Chelsea has struggled with poor PR in the past anyway, especially in terms of letting you know, amazing, talented youngsters go to other clubs. You know the rest. Marina Granovskaya dug her heels in and rejected his transfer request. In comes Frank Lampard, explains how he values his talent, really wants him to stay, and Callum hudson Adoy signs a new five-year deal. Now, you think the story would have a happy ending. If Callum hudson Adoy did go to Bayern Munich for, even if it's like 35, 40 million pounds for this kid, it should have been like seen as amazing business, but the world would have laughed at Chelsea yet again. So it was a huge PR win that he stayed at Chelsea, this young, talented player. He wanted to stay at his boyhood club and play under Frank Lampard. Obviously, he endured what was a very 
serious injury in the Achilles tendon. He worked very, very hard and got back to fitness a lot quicker than people would have assumed from such a dramatic injury. Sadly, he had only had some sub appearances and was struggling to find form of late. And he recently got a start against Southampton and wasn't amazing. He was okay in the first half, but fans obviously are expecting a lot since he signed a big contract. But the teenager is feeling the pressure from the fans and he's looking to his fellow teammates for reassurance because he feels like he's lost the support of the Chelsea fans. This is kind of a damned if you do, you damned if you don't thing. Fans have the right to criticise players that aren't performing, that get paid a lot, I get that. But really when it's one of your own academy products who's still a kid, who, yes, he's on a lot of money, but would have gone to Bayern Munich in Germany and could have torn it up like Gnabry. Everyone knows, regardless of short memories, everyone knows that Callum Hudson-Odoi is incredibly talented. So hopefully the youngster gets the reassurance he needs, can start performing on the pitch and win back the hearts of Chelsea fans. Right, let's talk about Philippe Coutinho before we get on to William. Mundo Deportivo, the Spanish outlet publication, have been talking about in the summer how he may come back to the Premier League and maybe Chelsea Football Club. Coutinho left Liverpool to go and play with his buddy Neymar in Barcelona. Neymar left, he got brought in. It didn't really go the way he planned. Obviously an amazingly talented player. I think he went for about 140 million pounds. Now, Bayern Munich took him on loan. They're quite smart like that. They did it with Real Madrid and James Rodriguez. They took him in, they got a two year loan. They actually had a really cheap buyout clause but they didn't do it, they just basically used his loan, he performed well for them, and then they sent him on his way. They've got Philip Coutinho, who's in scintillating form. He actually looks superb for Bayern Munich, the young Brazilian. And, come the summer, apparently he will be available for £86 million. Now, think about that, £86 million compared to Wilfred Zaha for £80 million. Bearing in mind, the market has gone crazy and he was only relatively recently sold to Barcelona for 140 million. Coutinho has proven himself at the highest level and indeed the Premier League. There was a time when yes, he was considered Liverpool's best player. People were comparing him with the likes of the other sort of Galactico level players in the Premier League. He's very, very creative. He's good at creating short passes between the lines. He's good at shooting from long range, which Chelsea really really need at the moment and of course he's a superb dead ball specialist this is a really interesting story to come out of spain because if chelsea can't seal their say prime target in Jadon sancho who remember hasn't actually played in the premier league properly or he hasn't played in the premier league and hasn't been tested in this particular sort of atmosphere philip coutinho and wilfred zaha have but for the same price roughly who do you pick zaha or coutinho I'll let you decide. Anyway, of course, keep it locked here to Football Therapy. I'll keep you updated throughout the January transfer window and before giving you all the stories from around Europe that are related to Chelsea. Right, the final story is on the Chelsea Brazilian winger, Willian. A frustrating and divisive character, but no one doubts the ability and talent of Willian, especially when he put on a man of the match display away at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium but days ago. Willian's got all the tricks, but more importantly for coach Frank Lampard, he's got industry. He can run in behind, he can track back and defend, and he's very, very pacey, and he can deal with the physicality of the Premier League. One thing that was going against Callum Hudson-Odoi in the recent display against Southampton was he was getting bodied off the ball. The physicality was overwhelming him, but Willian, he's used to the physicality and he was up for the fight and usually comes away with the ball. Frank Lampard has maintained throughout the season that he really wants Willian to stay at Chelsea and he's very, very important to him. He appreciates his creativity, his, I don't wanna say leadership, but his senior figure within the team and of course his industry. He's talked about wanting to keep Willian happy because when he's happy he believes he's playing well and he believes he hasn't always been happy at Chelsea. Well maybe that's a bit unfair but I think he's trying to assert that the happier Willian is the better he plays. And I've even said that in recent videos if he starts a game in the more immediate sense feeling good and happy he'll have an awesome game but if he starts maybe a bit dejected or frustrated that often carries through with Willian. But it turns out the problem with the contract is money. Maybe it's not term and length then. Maybe Chelsea are willing to break their rule yet again and give Willian a two year deal as opposed to the, the regulated 12 month extension. Perhaps Willian is happy with that and he's just asking for a bit more money. This is the nitty gritty of the football industry and players want money. If you wanna know my opinion, 
I think Willian is a very talented player, valuable to Chelsea, and as long as Frank Lampard is Chelsea coach and has an idea, I think his idea is demonstrated really well through Willian. Willian is a valuable player, and like I said, in the Premier League, when you need someone running about, tracking back, defending, being industrious, even if he's not scoring loads of goals and assisting loads, if your midfielders are going to be scoring, if your striker's going to be scoring, if your, you know, your left winger's going to be scoring more, Willian is a very valuable player, even as a rotational second right winger. Remember, he can play on both sides as well, so if the left winger or the right winger comes off, he can come and replace him. So generally, personally, I'm backing the contract extension of Willian, knowing that Pedro's probably on his way out and knowing that Chelsea are indeed looking for a new talented attacking midfielder winger at the highest level to come in. Anyway, what do you guys think of the stories I've talked about today? Would you have Philippe Coutinho at Chelsea for £86 million in the summer? How do you feel about Callum hudson Adoy's recent form? Do you believe he needs more support or do you believe he deserves criticism regardless of you know him being an academy product or being just essentially a young kid? And how do you feel about Willian? Would you give him this new contract? Let me know, get down in the comments below. And remember, if you've enjoyed today's content, please do like the video, follow me on social media at Football Yannick, and why not go check out my second channel to watch me sit on the sofa, talk to the camera, and play video games, Yan Plays. I'll put the link in the top of the description. Well, that's it for me, guys. So you lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.